catechine is a FLAVAN3-ol, a type of natural phenol and antioxidant. It is a plant secondary metabolite. It belongs to the group of FLAVAN3-ols or simply flavonols, part of the chemical family of flavonoids. The name of the catechine chemical family derives from catechu, which is the tannic juice or boiled extract of mimosa catechu Acacia catechu LF. Topic. Chemistry Catechine possesses two benzene rings called the A and B rings and a dihydropyran heterocycle the C ring with a hydroxyl group on carbon-3. The A ring is similar to a resorcinol moiety while the B ring is similar to a catechol moiety. There are two chiral centers on the molecule on carbons 2 and 3. Therefore, it has four diastereoisomers. Two of the isomers are in trans configuration and are called catechine and the other two are in cis configuration and are called epicatechine. The most common catechine isomer is the plus catechine. The other stereoisomer is catechine or n catechine. The most common epicatechine isomer is epicatechine, also known under the names L epicatechine, epicatechol, epicatechol, L acacatechine, L epicatechol, EPI catechine, 2, 3 cis epicatechine or 2R, 3R epicatechine. The different epimers can be distinguished using chiral column chromatography, making reference to no particular isomer. The molecule can just be called catechine. Mixtures of the different enantiomers can be called plus or minus catechine or DL catechine and plus or minus epicatechine or DL epicatechine. Catechine and epicatechine are the building blocks of the proanthocyanidins, a type of condensed tannin. Diastereoisomers gallery. Moreover, the flexibility of the C ring allows for two conformation isomers, putting the B ring either in a pseudoequatorial position e conformer, or in a pseudoaxial position a conformer. Studies confirm that plus catechine adopts a mixture of A and E conformers in aqueous solution and their conformational equilibrium has been evaluated to be 33 to 67. As flavonoids, catechines can act as antioxidants when in high concentration in vitro, but compared with other flavonoids, their antioxidant potential is low. The ability to quench singlet oxygen seems to be in relation with the chemical structure of catechine, with the presence of the catechol moiety on ring B and the presence of a hydroxyl group activating the double bond on ring C. Topic: <inaudible> Oxidation. Electrochemical experiments show that plus catechine oxidation mechanism proceeds in sequential steps, related with the catechol and resorcinol groups and the oxidation is pH dependent. The oxidation of the catechol 3 feet, 4 dihydroxyl electron donating groups occurs first, at very low positive potentials, and is a reversible reaction. The hydroxyl groups of the resorcinol moiety oxidized afterwards were shown to undergo an irreversible oxidation reaction. The Lacase ABTS system oxidizes plus catechine to oligomeric products of which proanthocyanidin A2 is a dimer. Topic: Spectral data. Topic: Natural occurrences Plus catechine and epicatechine as well as their gallic acid conjugates are ubiquitous constituents of vascular plants, and frequent components of traditional herbal remedies, such as Uncaria rinchophila. The two isomers are mostly found as cacao and tea constituents, as well as in Vetus vinifera grapes. In food. The main dietary sources of catechines in Europe and the United States are tea and pomer fruits. Catechines and epicatechines are found in cocoa, which, according to one database, has the highest content 108 mg, 100 g, of catechines among foods analyzed, followed by prune juice 25 mg, 100 ml and broad bean pod 16 mg, 100 g. Acai oil, obtained from the fruit of the acai palm oleracea, contains plus catechines 67 mg per kilogram, epicatechine and plus catechine are among the main natural phenols in argan oil. Catechines are diverse among foods, from peaches to green tea and vinegar. Catechines are found in barley grain where they are the main phenolic compound responsible for dough discoloration. The taste associated with monomeric plus catechine or epicatechine is described as slightly astringent, but not bitter. Uh, 
Topic: Metabolism. Topic: Biosynthesis. The biosynthesis of catechine begins with Ma4 hydroxycinamoyl CoA starter unit, which undergoes chain extension by the addition of 3 malonyl cobalt 3 arsenide through a PKSIII pathway. 4 hydroxycinamoyl CoA is biosynthesized from L phenylalanine through the shikimate pathway. L phenylalanine is first deaminated by phenylalanine ammonia lyase, forming cinnamic acid, which is then oxidized to 4 hydroxycinamic acid by cinnamate 4 hydroxylase. Chalcon synthase then catalyzes the condensation of 4 hydroxycinamoyl CoA and 3 molecules of malonyl CoA to form chalcon. Chalcon is then isomerized to naringenin by chalcon isomerase, which is oxidized to eriodicchol by flavonoid 3 hydroxylase and further oxidized to taxifolin by flavonone 3 hydroxylase. Taxifolin is then reduced by dihydroflavanol 4 reductase and leucontocyanide and reductase to yield catechine. The biosynthesis of catechine is shown below. Leucocyanidin reductase (LCR) uses 2,3-trans-3,4 cis leucocyanidin to produce plus catechine and is the first enzyme in the proanthocyanidins (PA) specific pathway. Its activity has been measured in leaves, flowers, and seeds of the legumes Metacargo sativa, Lotus japonicus, Lotus uliginosus, Hedysarum sulfurescence, and Robinia pseudocacia. The enzyme is also present in Vetus vinifera (grape). Topic. Biodegradation Catechine oxygenase, a key enzyme in the degradation of catechine, is present in fungi and bacteria. Among bacteria, degradation of plus catechine can be achieved by Acinetobacter calcoacidicus. Catechine is metabolized to protocatechic acid and fluoroglucinol carboxylic acid. It is also degraded by Bratarhizobium japonicum. Fluoroglucinol carboxylic acid is further decarboxylated to fluoroglucinol, which is dehydroxylated to resorcinol. Resorcinol is hydroxylated to hydroxyquinol. Protocatechic acid and hydroxyquinol undergo intradiol cleavage through protocatechic 3,4 dioxygenase and hydroxyquinol 1,2 dioxygenase to form beta carboxy cis, cis muconic acid, and malleal acetate. Among fungi, degradation of catechine can be achieved by Chaetomium caprium. Topic. Metabolism in humans Catechines are metabolized upon uptake from the gastrointestinal tract, in particular the jejunum, and in the liver, resulting in so-called structurally related epicatechine metabolites The main metabolic pathways for SREMs are glucuronidation, sulfation and methylation of the catechol group by catechol O-methyl transferase, with only small amounts detected in plasma. The majority of dietary catechines are however metabolized by the colonic microbiome to gamma valerolactones and hippuric acids which undergo further biotransformation, glucuronidation, sulfation and methylation in the liver. The stereochemical configuration of catechines has a strong impact on their uptake and metabolism as uptake is highest for epicatechine and lowest for catechine. Topic: Research Nanoparticle methods are under preliminary research as potential delivery systems of catechines. Coco catechines are under preliminary research for their potential to affect the risk of cardiovascular diseases. One limited meta-analysis showed that increasing consumption of green tea and its catechines to 7 cups per day provided a small reduction in prostate cancer. Topic: <inaudible> Biotransformation <inaudible> <inaudible> Biotransformation of plus catechine into taxifolin by a two-step oxidation can be achieved by Burkholderia sp. Plus catechine and epicatechine are transformed by the endophytic filamentous fungus diaporth sp. into the 3,4-cis dihydroxyflavin derivatives, plus 2R, 3S, 4S, minus 3, 4, 5, 7, 3, 4 hexahydroxyflavin leucocyanidin and 2R, 3R, 4R, minus 3, 4, 5, 7, 3, 4 hexahydroxyflavin 
7, respectively, whereas catechine and plus epicatechine with a 2s phenyl group resisted the biooxidation. Leucanthocyanidin reductase LA uses 2R3s catechine NADP plus an H2O to produce 2, 3 trans 3, 4 cis leucocyanidin, NADPH, and H. Its gene expression has been studied in developing grape berries and grape vine leaves. Glycosides 2R, 3S catechine 7 o beta d glucopyranoside can be isolated from barley and malt. Epigeocide catechine 3 o alpha l ramnopyranosyl 1 to 4 beta d glucopyranosyl 1 to 6 beta d glucopyranoside can be isolated from the rhizomes of epigenum auritum. Topic: Bioactivity studies. Topic: Vascular function. Centuries ago, catechine containing extracts were thought to be useful for treating heart diseases, and an effect on the permeability of capillaries was shown in 1936. Limited evidence from dietary studies indicates that catechines may have an effect on endothelium dependent vasodilation, which could contribute to normal blood flow regulation in humans. Green tea catechines may improve blood pressure, especially when systolic blood pressure is above 130 mm of mercury. Due to extensive metabolism during digestion, the fate and activity of catechine metabolites responsible for this effect on blood vessels, as well as the actual mode of action, are unknown. The European Food Safety Authority established that cocoa flavonols have an effect on vascular function in healthy adults by concluding, Cocoa flavonols help maintain endothelium dependent vasodilation, which contributes to normal blood flow. Data from observational cohort studies have not shown a consistent association between FLAVAN3 ol intake and risk of cardiovascular diseases. A meta analysis also indicated that green tea catechines may favorably affect cholesterol. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Possible immune effects. Depending on dose consumed, catechines and their metabolites can bind to red blood cells and possibly induce release of autoantibodies, resulting in hemolytic anemia and renal failure. This resulted in the withdrawal of the catechine-containing drug catagen, used to treat viral hepatitis, from the European market in 1985. Topic: <laughs> Botanical effects. Catechines released into the ground by some plants may hinder the growth of their neighbors, a form of allelopathy. Centauria maculosa, the spotted knapweed often studied for this behavior, releases catechine isomers into the ground through its roots, potentially having effects as an antibiotic or herbicide. One hypothesis is that it causes a reactive oxygen species wave through the target plant's root to kill root cells by apoptosis. Most plants in the European ecosystem have defenses against catechine, but few plants are protected against it in the North American ecosystem where Centauria maculosa is an invasive, uncontrolled weed. Catechine acts as an infection inhibiting factor in strawberry leaves. Epicatechine and catechine may prevent coffee berry disease by inhibiting a presserile melanization of Colletotrichum kahawi. <laughs> 